Uh, I talked to I, I talked to you guys uh, before, uh-huh. and uh, I got uh, I got approved to come on with you guys uh, a little while back, but uh, unfortunately, I had another opportunity that opened up for me, and I went on ahead and went with that. All you have to do is stay. Yo, what's going on guys? Lockout Man here in the Mainstay Hotel for this episode of Lockout Man Makes the Call. No green screen in the back, none at all. Just uh just what you see in the background right there. Yo, I am here at the hotel because my truck is broke down, but that does not stop the grind. That does not stop me making the calls for you guys. Yo, check it out. This week's call is to Forelli? Forelli. Yeah, Forelli Trucking. Look, man. This young lady it keeps hitting me up in the texts, keep hitting me up in the emails. She keeps letting me know that, uh, that I am uh, approved to come on and drive for them. Actually, I've been approved with these guys for a while. Um... Uh, I called them back in 2016. Yeah, 2016 is when I called them, and I and I talked to a gentleman there. I'm not even sure if he's still there, but uh, I did get put on. It was just a matter of me coming on and you know going through the you know going through the orientation and everything. But unfortunately, uh, J and R Shrugel stepped up to the plate, and I decided to go with them so jnr swoogle won that battle but uh forelli still a good company uh what they offer me at the time do it do they still offer what they offered me at the time is it different is it more is it less well i don't know let's find out let's give this young lady a call who's been trying to get at me for a hot minute IP office. Julie Fitzer is not available. Okay, so trying to get a hold of her. Uh, unfortunately, I guess she's not at her desk or whatever's going on or something like that. But let's talk about Ferrelli though. Let's talk about them right quick. Driver opportunities. Uh, what they got for opportunities for you guys. It says join the Ferrelli family today. Enjoy scheduled pay raises and bonuses. 60% of our fleet earn, it says, earn monthly to, uh, two cents per mile bonus. Is that a good thing? That is a good thing. Let's see what they offer. Let's see what they offer. They offer base mileage pay, $3,000 sign on. Now, you know the sign. I know what you guys about to say. I know what you guys about to say. Some companies offer sign-on bonuses and other companies doesn't offer sign-on bonuses the companies that do offer sign-on bonuses does that make them a bad company though does that make them a bad company now you got to put in the sense that the sign-on bonus of how much the sign-on bonus is now on average is about three thousand to five thousand dollars that's on average with some companies that's offering uh, sign-on bonuses for you guys to come on but what about these companies that's offering fifteen thousand twenty thousand twenty five thousand fifty thousand for teens what do you guys think about that why would a company will offer that much to bring you on. Is there something wrong with that company? Is the turnover great at that company? It gotta be. It gotta be. For them to offer that big of a payout, something's gotta be going on with that company. Also, think about this. Think about this. How is it paid out? 
Is it going to be paid out within that first year? Is it going to be paid out within that first six months? Is it going to be paid out within that first week's paycheck? Sign on bonuses that you keep seeing out there, honey. Right now, U.S. Express has a sign on bonus for $50,000. $50,000. Like, for real. Not even a year ago, we went to U.S. Express um, and in may we started with them in may we started we went with our trainer at that point our sign-on bonus was only five thousand dollars <laughs> five so not even a year later they didn't upped it all the way to fifty thousand dollars now granted you probably gonna have to have your hazmat you may have to have some experience but don't believe the hype because even if they giving you that $50,000 sign-on bonus, you're not getting all of that all in one lump sum. They're going to split that. And they probably going to split that thing up between years. Not one year, but two years and maybe even more than that. You know, like, don't believe the hype. I mean, a sign-on bonus is what it is. A sign-on bonus. You giving me a bonus as soon as I sign that dotted line. Not screwed out or spread out across years or months or eternity some of these companies that offer these sign-on bonuses also knows that you're there just for the bonus so you got to figure hey is they going to treat me like a number is they going to treat me like a commodity or is they going to treat me like the professional truck driver that i am think about that when these companies be offering these extravagant uh, sign-on bonuses. Think about that. You better think about what you're saying. $250 new driver incentive, so they'll probably give you $250 for your orientation. Uh, two cent CPM safety and performance bonuses. That's natural. Uh, raises every six months. That's that's a good incentive. Get a raise every, but. Let's when I when I call, I'll find out about that because if you're going to get a raise every six months, it probably might be like a half a cent raise every six months. You see what I'm saying? Uh, health and dental insurance. What about vision? I got glasses. You know what I'm saying? 401k, paid vacation, 99 point. I mean, 99 percent no touch. That means one percent of it is touch. <laughs> Dropping hook pay. Oh, we got to find out what that dropping hook pay is about. Layover pay, detention pay, of course, the, the regulars just just need to know uh, how how long do it start. Rider policy, no wait period, meaning that your rider could come on right then and there. I don't see nothing about pets, but I'll ask about that. Payroll made every Friday at 3 p.m. Every Friday at 3 p.m. Yo, I need my money now, like in the morning. Like when I first wake up, I want to hit my checking account and be like, boom! <laughs> Payroll made available. Oh, I said that already. Sorry. Uh, trip scanned in by noon Monday Central Time. Pay that Friday. So get it in noon Monday. Get paid that Friday. Uh, what else they got? Referral bonuses, they'll give you $1,000 for everybody that's uh, that you referred in. Let's find out about that, how that is paid out too, because when I was getting my referral bonuses over at JNR, it was broken down in parts. <laughs> all right, so the requirements, of course, is the regular requirements. We don't need to get into all of that. Let's get into the higher areas, though. Let's see what's up. Now, look like everything east of i-35 let's see minnesota parts of minnesota uh parts of wisconsin iowa what's that missouri parts of missouri illinois indiana ohio and pa they don't go they don't i'm not sure if they go up there but they don't hire out of the northeast anything north of pa they don't hire out of uh anything south of pa Except for parts of Atlanta, uh, parts of Georgia, and parts of Alabama, 
and parts of Texas. So that's what they hire out of right there. All right, so Ferrelli, is it a good company to work for? Let's find out and go with a quick search. Ferrelli Transportation. Go. Oh, wait. Oh, we brought it back. There it is. Ferrelli Transportation. They're located out of West Liberty, Iowa. Number of vehicles, 150. Whoa, this is a small company. Number of drivers, 120. Man, this is a small company. This is like, uh, I want to say this is like a small family company, probably. We'll find out a little bit more about that, too, when we give her a call. But um, 150 vehicles and 120 drivers, they might have some vehicles for you guys over there. You know what I'm saying? They might have some vehicles for you when you get there. All right, so let's, uh, let's try giving her a call. One more time. Julie Sitzer is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Otherwise, for still a still not press available. zero now. All right, so still not available. <sighs> Well, we need to talk to somebody. We need to talk to somebody because I can't stay here for too much longer. A few moments later. Well, I am going to try and get a hold of uh, Ferrelli recruiting uh, probably a little bit later on. Uh, unfortunately, I got to pack up, y'all. I got to pack up. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. This is just a pause. Um, just a pause. Just a, you know, I got to pack up and uh, get ready to go. You know, it's a little bit after 1130. Um, my truck should be ready by noonish. And I should be ready, you know, downstairs, get ready to check out and everything and be ready to go. So give me a minute uh, and we'll get back to getting Ferrelli on the line. More moments later. All right, y'all, we're back. We're back. Switched up the hat. <laughs> uh, I went to start, uh, I went to start, to, you know, start putting stuff up and then I got a phone call. So let's call, let's call them back. I think that was them calling me. Hello? Hello? We're really recruiting this is Nick oh okay Nick how's it going man uh, doing I, good. I think uh, I think I just missed your call yeah oh okay okay um well first up is 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 Julie I think Julie there today nope she's not in today man oh, oh. okay 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 yeah All you right. want me to you want me to have her I mean she might be in tomorrow um, I can send her an email if you want um well, no, this is, you know, I'm I'm just calling back just to, you know, just to chop it up with, with one of you guys just to just to see what the company is about, to see if it's a good fit, you know. Okay. Um, I guess We're, I could I guess I could just, you know, talk to any one of you guys. Yeah, it's just me and her, man. So. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK. Um, all right. Well, I'm from, you know, my name's Sean. Uh, I talked right. to I, I talked to you guys uh, before, uh -huh. and uh, I got uh, I got approved to come on with you guys uh, a little while back, but uh, unfortunately I had another opportunity that opened up for me, and I went on ahead and went with that. Uh, okay. But uh, but I'm still interested in what you guys got to offer, though. So that's why I'm calling back because okay. you know I could take the same information that you give me. I could take with me and give to other drivers that may be you know interested in uh, for rally trucking as well. Yeah, Sean. What's your social security number, man? Let me look you up here. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, I've got you here. So what are you looking for, Sean? Um. Well, basically, I just you know just want to just ask general questions i guess um 
hold on right quick. Okay, okay. I got my got my little questionnaire. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. um, all right, so uh to start off right quick, uh do you guys offer um CDL sponsor school? Uh do you guys um you know train for drivers that don't have their CDLs? No. No, we're not that big. Oh, okay. Okay. Um all right, so I'm looking on the map right now, and okay. your hire areas, man, your hire areas is small, but do you guys hire out of uh, out of anywhere else other than this little green areas that's on the map right here? I don't know what map you're referring to, but, um, I mean, our hiring area should be on our website. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking okay. at. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's updated. That's correct. Um, yeah, high look like the higher areas is Missouri, a little bit of Missouri, a little bit of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, PA, Iowa, uh, parts mm-hmm. of Texas and Alabama and Georgia. Yeah. Um, do you get? If that's your higher areas, what are y'all? What are the travel lanes? I mean, do you guys travel the forty, the whole forty-eight states, or you guys no. just do certain? No, we operate in the Midwest, South, and Southeast. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So what about we, we pull freight out of the Midwest, like Illinois, Iowa, lower part of Wisconsin, Missouri, and then I've got lanes that go down to like Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth area and back up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we go to Alabama. Georgia and back up, and then we go east a little bit to uh, like Philadelphia, uh, okay. New Jersey area and back. Um, okay. I do, I do have a few lanes that go west to California, but um, this probably like five or seven loads a week, and you don't have to run those if you don't want to. Oh, okay. What about uh, what about being uh, forced to forced to go to New York or New York City or any states up in the Northeast? Yeah, we don't we don't go there, so. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, I see you got Florida grayed out. So Florida is not one of the one of the areas that you guys hire out of. No. Nope. All right. Where's the main terminal uh, located at? So there's only one terminal, and we're based out of West Liberty, Iowa. Mm-hmm. So we're not too far from the world's largest truck stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Iowa 80. Yeah. That's uh. <laughs> yep. That's the that's the spot, the jamboree every year, man. Mm-hmm. Um, for pre-employment drug testing, man, do you guys require hair follicles or is it urine? It's just urine. Urine, okay. Um, other than that's other than that's the main terminal right there. Do you guys have like like drop yards and stuff like that? Mm, no, no. So what's the percentage of dropping hook there? Twenty-five percent. Oh, 25 percent. Now, on the on the website, it mentions something about dropping hook pay. Can you go? Can you go into detail about that? Uh, the dropping hook pay. I, I'd have to see that. I mean, there's no. The only thing I can think of is, I mean, there there is drop pay between you know if there if there's a if there's a drop between the original pickup and the final destination, then yeah, there's drop pay there. All right, hold on for a second. Yeah, hotel wants to know when I'm about to check out. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't going nowhere until the truck get fits. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So you say, uh, you say that uh, the drop in hook pay is 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 sort of like, sort of like a pay type of incentive type deal. Is well, I mean, I mean, there's there's drop pay. Anything, it, like if you have a drop in between the, like I said, the the. Uh, Original pickup and the final destination, then yeah, there's there's drop pay for that. Oh, okay. And that, that's twelve. I think it's fifteen bucks a drop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so when the guys come in for orientation, man, um, do they gotta go through all sorts of hoops and stuff like that? Uh, like before before we come in for orientation, can we take care of all our drug testing and you know some some stuff before we even get there? Um, you can do what we'll do is we'll send you some online signatures for you to take care of, but mm-hmm. you'll do your drug screen here. Oh, okay, okay, yes, sir. All right. Uh, what about um, what about felonies? Uh, what, what's what's your policies on felons? Um, it's a case by case, you know, scenario there. 
I would say, you know, anything past five years is uh, is probably good. Okay, okay. Um, so if I have my DOT card already, my medical card already, can I can I still uh, sign on with that, or do I got to get a new Absolutely. DOT? Oh, I can I can still sign on with my original. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. All right, so on the website, I was about to ask you, uh, you guys offer a sign-on bonus. So it's $3,000 sign-on bonus, but what's the criteria for it, and how is it paid out? Yeah, so it's up to $3,000. <clears> so it pays out 1500 at six months, and then you get the other half at one year. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, two hundred and fifty dollar new driver incentive is that's is that the orientation? Yes. Orientation pay. How long is orientation? Two days. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically, we we get in, take care of all the paperwork, and we'll jump right into our trucks. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty quick process, Lashawn. Oh. Um, like I said, Monday morning you'll do your drug screen and then a little bit of paperwork, mm -hmm. and then Tuesday uh. We get you, you know, sent over to the Peterbilt dealership to get your truck, and as soon as we get the drug results back, um, they'll they'll dispatch it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, now, since you guys, you know, don't offer no no type of no type of training like that, you you require us to come in with already experience, right? Yeah, one year verifiable OTR. Okay, so there's 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 no training or nothing like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, the orientation out in uh, out in Iowa, I guess. Mm -hmm. How would I get? How would you guys get me there? So typically, we use the Greyhound. Okay. Now let me ask you this: for anybody that's, let's just say, anybody that want to like drive or fly or anything like that, will you guys reimburse? Will you guys reimburse us for that for our travel? Yeah. Okay. 250 bucks absolutely oh okay okay awesome awesome um all right so two days for the train i mean for the orientation uh come in awesome you guys uh you guys run teams or is it just solo it's just solo okay what's the uh now let's get to the nitty-gritty what's the cpm so the rate of mile is based off of your experience and your safety record. All right, so four, you can, four years of experience. Okay, uh, so you, you would start record. anywhere between 47 all the way to 50 cents a mile loaded and empty. Okay. And then we have raises every six months. And then you'd also be eligible for a two cent per mile productivity bonus that okay. we pay out at the end of the month. Okay. Now the now you say now you say up to so that's like include is that including the incentives that you just mentioned, the forty seven or is that forty seven out the gate? No, the uh, it, like I said, it, it, you would I'd have to rerun your application. I'll have to tell you exactly what you would start at. Oh, uh, we this is just ballparking, so I, I don't want you to run my application. So well, right, like I said, you would start anywhere between forty-seven up to fifty cents a mile, and then oh, okay. those two cents would go on top of that. Oh, they go on top of that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, cool. And you say we get paid, we get a raise every six months. So is that a is that You're a whole, eligible for a raise? Yes. Okay, is that a whole cent or a half a cent? Half cent. Half a cent. Yeah, I kind of I kind of pretty much figured that. Uh, per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It's offered and it is mandatory. I mean, it's up to thirty percent. Oh, it is mandatory. All right. Mm -hmm. So when I come in, man, you know, if I come in with you guys, I want to, you know, be broke. So do you guys offer pay advances off our paychecks? Yeah, off, up to a hundred bucks each week. All right. Uh, on the website it says that you guys offer health and dental uh, insurance, but what about vision and how much is it? Uh, so we just offer medical and dental insurance. Oh, okay. So y'all, so y'all don't do vision at all. Correct. What's what's the uh what's the what's the takeout pay every every month for or every week for for that? Is it just gonna be you? Yeah. Fifty two bucks. Oh, fifty two bucks. Okay. All right. How much is detention and breakdown, and when do it start? Anything after two hours, you're on the clock at twelve bucks an hour, and then breakdown is seventy five bucks a day. Okay. Uh, hazmat. Do you guys require it? Nope. Now, since I don't have my hazmat. And I will be getting it soon, though. But uh, would you guys reimburse me for it if I come on board and get my hazmat while working with you guys? No. 
like I said, we don't run hazmat, so there'd be no need for it. Okay. Now I notice, I see here that you guys is like uh, a small company. So yeah. how uh, what's the what's the average miles a week I can get? Which what you uh, I mean, if you keep the door closed and you're good, you can easily turn three thousand. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That is what's up. Um. Now you told me about the lanes. What divisions do you guys have available there, or is it just drive in and reef? I noticed that you guys do a lot of reefer. That's all we do. Oh, that's all you do is reefer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's no touch refrigeration. Oh, okay. So you guys, uh, you guys, uh, have accounts with like Kraft. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Kraft I'm, is one of our biggest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Our biggest accounts. Yeah, and it's also one of the accounts too because it gets you in the damn door and they'll have you waiting there for hours yeah. <laughs> don't i know <laughs> um how's the mouse pay uh, or i'm sorry how's the mouse calculated uh Is they're practical practical mm -hmm. all right you guys have a you guys have an idle policy there can we no. idle the truck yeah yeah absolutely you can idle i mean we we don't have APUs, so you're expected to, you know, do what you need to do to stay comfortable. All right. What about uh, what about reimbursement for scales, tolls, and and absolutely uh, and yep. parking, parking, yep. parking? Uh, with parking, I'm I've never asked been asked that to be honest with you. I don't think so on the parking, but everything else, yeah, just turn in your receipts. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you know sometimes you know us truck drivers get into these truck stops and the only parking available there is there. Mm -hmm. It's those reserved parking that we gotta pay for. And, right. Uh, and yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> so it we can just be. want just want to know if we get uh, reimbursed for that. Right. I'm pretty sure uh, that we don't reimburse for that. I've never heard of that before. Even okay. though I I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never been asked that. So. All right. First, what about uh, what about home time? What's uh, what's what's the home time policy there now? Uh, it's typically every other weekend. You get home and you're home for a full two to three days. Oh, okay, okay. How long can I take off though? Like, let's say for example, if I need to take a couple of extra days off, is is that okay? Yeah, I mean, just communicate it with your with your dispatcher. I mean, I'm just telling you right now, like, like I said, two to three days is you know typical but you know if you're taking three or four uh consistently like that's probably we're probably not gonna be a good fit for you okay i got you uh i see you guys got rider policy but what about pets nope no pets no pets yeah. and the rider policy is right out the gate right yes yes okay okay all right uh so if you if i do come on board with you guys and let's just say after 30 days or something like that, and I feel that it's not a good fit for me, what will be the what will be the criteria if I decide to quit to turn in the truck? Um, I mean, well, we hope that you don't do that, but yeah, uh, you know, if it, if it, you know, if it ends up not being a good fit, I mean, we would need you to turn the truck back into Davenport, where you know the Peterbilt dealership is. All right, all right. Oh, let me ask you this. So. During orientation, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's just say for some freak of nature reason that you know I I get turned away and get sent back home. Will you guys give me a way to get back home? No. Okay, so that'll be pretty much up to me to get back home. Right. Gotcha. Um, what equipment? Now you mentioned uh, Peterbilt. So yeah. uh, is that is that the only equipment there, or you got yeah, that's what we run. 2017, 2018, 579 Peterbilts. Okay. Autos or manuals or both? Those are uh, going to be automatic. Automatics. Okay. Uh, for comfort inside the truck, man. What what amenities you guys offer? They come with an 1800 watt inverter, mm -hmm. and I mean there's there's plenty of room for a, a fridge or TV, whatever you want to put in there. Oh, okay. So you guys don't you guys don't offer the refrigerator. That's correct. Oh, okay. Uh, what about a driver cam? Uh, it's only facing forward, and it only is there for, you know, if there's an accident. Oh, okay. That'll work. That'll work. What's the truck's governing that? 65. 65. Uh, is, that on, is that on cruise and the pedal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, let me pop back to the website. Um, so every Friday we get paid? 
That's correct, direct deposit. All right. Uh, the referral bonus, uh, how is that paid out once we once we refer somebody there? Um, I mean, it's paid out in installments. You've got a you know you've got a payment at thirty days and then at ninety days. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, hey, that's uh that's pretty cool, man. Um, I guess uh my last question is what's what's your policies on cell phones? Uh, as I, far as I I I know is I get the same look. I'm I I, I could see you right now like cell phone. <laughs> but well, some no, some companies like yeah, yeah some companies violation. yeah some companies don't even like you to have a have don't even like you to use the uh head the headset. So my question is is can we use the headset while we're driving? Yeah, I mean you just as long as it's DOT approved uh, and it's hands free, um, shouldn't be an issue. All right, cool. All right, what's your name again? My name is Nick. Nick, man, thank you very much, man. Hey, I do appreciate the time, man, and and that you're giving me to ask these uh, ask these questions for me and all like that. It's still give me something to think about. Okay. Uh, and I already know that uh that I'm that I'm semi approved. So if I decide to leave the current place where I'm at, I know who I can uh I can come over to. Uh, yeah. How long how how long you been rocking out for the company, man? Um. I don't know, close to a year. Oh, okay. But well, yeah, for for a little bit of a year, you 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 got some stuff down pat, man. You got some yeah. stuff down I've pat. I've been recruiting for a while, though. <laughs> All right. Hey, I appreciate the time, man. So thank you, thank yeah, you very fun. much. Is there Just anything that there, you? Man. Hey, is there anything that you can offer that I haven't even asked? No, you pretty much covered everything that anyone has ever asked me. All right, I appreciate it. Hey, is it all right that you can uh, send me an email? Uh, I could probably forward it to some people that uh, that uh, that's, that might be interested. So if I give you yeah, my LaShawn. email address. All right, LaShawn, I got that, man. I'll get that sent over to you, okay? All right, man, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for your time, man. I do appreciate it. All right, bro. It. Be All right safe now. out there. Hey, Let's you see. too now. Later. All right, that's it. It's over. It's done. Forelli. What do you guys think of that call? Um, 47 up to up to 52 depending on your safety record and your uh and your experience 47 47 out the gate plus two cent at the end of the month that sounds pretty good right it sounds pretty good to you right uh very small company i mean they 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 looking for drivers. They looking for drivers to consider family, and I like that. I like that. Small company, you don't you don't have to go through the the big company rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? So, if you guys interested in Ferrelli, give them a call. Talk to my man Nick or Julie, who tried to who I tried to get in contact with, but she's off. But Nick took the time to go over the company with us, and it sounds like a sounds like a good company. Sounds like a good company. So, Ferrelli, what do you guys think of the call? Hey, if you guys like content like this and other content that I'll be bringing to you, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the comments. You know what I'm saying? If you guys got any questions that you want me to ask the recruiters, leave it in the comments below. And you guys got any suggestions who you want me to call, leave that in the comments below. I will make the call for you guys. That's what I do. Lockout Man makes the call. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you next time in another call. Talk to you later. Peace. I got to go.